And brand new at 4.30, the sale of gas-powered cars could soon be a thing of the past in Connecticut if Governor Ned Lamont gets his way. Those cars would be off dealership lots by 2035. Though Republican lawmakers are firing back, saying that is an unrealistic goal. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Audrey Russo is joining us live in studio with both sides of this issue. Audrey. Well, Kara, obviously this isn't an issue or a question that's unique to Connecticut. When to make the switch to selling only electric or hybrid cars and making those gas-powered vehicles a thing of the past? Well, Governor Lamont says he wants to reduce vehicle emissions, and he also wants to join neighboring states like New York and Massachusetts in adopting the California emission standards, which also outline a 2035 goal for ending gas car sales. But GOP lawmakers today made it very clear that they don't agree with that timeline. Using the phrase pump the brakes, the lawmakers said the state's electric grid would need 14 new substations just to handle the increase in electric vehicles if this proposal were to go through. They also say that the governor's plan doesn't allow enough time for the trucking industry to phase out combustion engines and that that in turn could drive up transportation costs. Lawmakers are also concerned that the cost of electric vehicles would be out of the price range for many working families. State a goal, mandate the purchase of electric vehicles in 2035 with no plan to get there. No plan. Right now our electric grid can't, can't handle if every car were electric. We don't have the capacity Governor Lamont, uh, countering the GOP stance, sent us a statement saying in part, quote, the shift to zero emission vehicles is already here. Consumers and car companies are both embracing the change, while manufacturers significantly increasing electric vehicle sales and families choosing to purchase those vehicles in increasing numbers. Governor Lamont's administration also says that they would try to reduce the costs of zero emission cars for low income people. Now, the timing of the Republicans' criticism is, you know, it's timely. The legislature's regulation review committee is set to vote on this mandate very soon. It's during their meeting that's coming up on November 28th. In studio, Audrey Russo for Channel 3 Eyewitness News.